Well, you start your, well, you got locked up in 2007. So by 2015, you are eight years in to your sentence. Mm -hmm. Jeezy drops his album, Church in These Streets. And there's a song on there called J-Bo. Yeah. And the lyrics go, uh, roll up the swishers, get money, lay low. Yeah. Just ask them bitches, a ball like J-Bo. Mm -hmm. Rose, we piss it, get money, lay low, shine in my pictures, pull up like, like J-Bo. Yeah. Yeah. When you first heard that song, while locked up, and you're now eight years into your sentence, how'd you feel? Man, I was... I actually was in the TV room sweating my tickets. I was gambling and shit. I was gambling in prison. And a motherfucker come up to me, hey, Bo, you hear that? Um, man, nigga, Jeezy got a song about you. I'm like, huh? I go to the core links and, you know, some of, some of the hard thing, Tito uh, hit me like, man, call me back, call me real quick. So I call it like, bro, listen to this. And he let me hear the song. I was like, damn. I was like, shit, that's what's up. You know what I'm saying? I was actually, Kind of happy, but you know, as 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 the time go on, you know, and you walking on the compound and shit, I bought that J Bo, <laughs> pull up that J Bo. You know, you got tired of hearing that shit. You know what I'm saying? But it was, you know, the feeling was good. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, bro, made the song about me. Like, you know, you saying to yourself, like, okay, now all motherfuckers who didn't believe that Jeezy was men with partners. You know, they, you know, I can't sit here and call them. You know, they don't answer prison calls for real, for real. Some of them do. You know, and they heard the song, it kind of made them like, damn, they do fuck with both. You know what I'm saying? But I was I was actually kind of, you know, happy that the song, he made a song about me. Man, he could have made a song about a gazillion motherfuckers. But he made a song about a motherfucker he considered a friend um, and a real one. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wouldn't have it no other way, you know? But I was happy that he made a song about me. It was on. I mean, yeah, because by this time, Jeezy was huge. Yeah, he was, he was up there. He was up you know, there. and he threw in the whole like BMF, Death Before Dishonor lyrics in there. You know, talked about how, you know, you stayed solid while the snitches is out there celebrating, living their life. And uh, yeah, man, it was a hell of a, you know, it, it, it was just a really dope tribute. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I say, man, I was, and I, I still didn't talk to him even when the song came out. I, I, I didn't even talk to him for real until I came home. Mm. 